Thanks for the validation. <laughs> I, I live for those moments on this path. Everything has already been validated thus far in seven years. So we're going... Everything that God told me in life has already been validated. We're going to a place called Eden. Yeah. Eden is heaven on earth. But here's the, here's the deal. Check Exquisite it out. Blah, blah. We Thank have to you. transcend all things of past. Exquisite blah, okay? blah, Thank Thought you. processes, programming Thank to you. just love. Thank yeah. you. Love, Thank love, you. love. Thank you. See the Thank E you. on the Thank on the you. below the leaf there? That is right here on the logo. Thank you. It's for Eden. Thank you. And I create Thank you. worlds Thank you. and I create bubbles Thank and you. communes Thank and you. communities Thank based on our Eden blah, blah. consciousness. Thank you. Thank which you. is the Exquisite new world. Blah, blah. We Thank are you. now restoring Thank the new you. world and it's coming you. in through you Thank because you got a consciousness to shift Thank to vegetarian. You. you came to a T in the road. You can go back to your old mindset, but you're just, you know, you're aware. You're aware so We're you all go perfectly forward fine forward right now. And take the teaching I'm going to give you. We're all fine. And going forward. Thank you. Exquisite you know? blah, blah. Brother, introduce yourself. <laughs> Say hi. Fine hi. Fine now. He is an enlightened being that's coming forward and saying, yes, he is waking up. He's always been here. He always, he's perfect. He never <laughs> laughed. Actually, I, I think it happened very young, at like 16. I was just running from it. Yeah? <laughs> and now you're here and you are now in the plant-based world. How do you like it? Great. I've, I have more energy than I've ever had in my life. I go further. Um, and you know, it's taught me about what's in my food. I like know what I'm eating now. Nice. Like, everything, like it's very important. Very you know, important. You know. Yeah. And yesterday, I think we did a five-mile hike on one porridge, super seed porridge. I didn't nice. do that with with anything I ate before. <laughs> yeah. Like, like I wouldn't even make it that far. Nice. On, on mild diets. Yeah. yeah. And, yeah, man. And how about your uh, spiritual diet? What's going on there? Spiritual diet consists of yoga, uh, spinal alignments daily, if needed, because I carry so much weight on my back. Stretching, proper rest. How about uh, being in nature? Uh, being in nature, yes. But prior, actually, to my vegetarianism, I did this in the woods for nine months. I would re highly recommend you spend nine months in the woods. Maybe figuring out ways to go get what you need daily, but going back to the woods as quickly as you can to detach from everything. Like a, kind of like a reset. Yes. Nature is where I really found the most reset. Absolutely. In right. nature. Uh, I, my experience was south of uh, Big Sur, um, outside of Monterey and Carmel. I was in the forest out there, right. and there was plenty of places to go get organic food. So I would go daily, do my runs, and then zip down a hill with all my supplies. Nice. <laughs> you know what I mean? You want to buy nice. it. Because you could never carry it all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it was cool. Cool. Was very yeah. Hey, this is T. I also had experience just like that recently where I would also recommend the same thing. I spent a month, month and a half in by myself in nature as a complete reset. It was an amazing experience that, you know, really it detached me from the, all the matrix philosophies and it allowed me to connect with myself, nature, and God, spirit. And so it was an amazing experience. I highly recommend it. And this gentleman right here, I can tell, is on a divine path because he told me things that I also have gone through to find the heart of myself. And I went away from all the stuff that was in my head. So this is a big blessing today to meet this new angel, new part of particle of God that is allowing us to, you know, make this mission even better. So blessings to you and everybody. And this is Happy Bear, as you saw him a minute ago. Hello, Happy Bear. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Breathe. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, man. And we're having too much fun here in OB. Look at this beautiful space. I just figured out how to make my own toothpaste. Nice. What do you use? 
eucalyptus oil and potato starch bicarbonate. Oh wow! Potato made is a lighter baking soda. It's working pretty good. Yeah, I, I use. A, go ahead. Yeah, I mean you might see my dead tooth in here, but yeah, it's working. I mean I use baking soda and coconut oil. Coconut oil, yeah. Awesome. I like the eucalyptus though. It's cool. You think it'd be too much, but once you rinse it out, it's gone. The nice. baking soda is salty. It helps it leave. I don't know why. Nice. Working. Don't like buy, it. Don't buy a plastic chug anymore. Just buy the food. All these. <laughs> and the oil. <laughs> food is medicine. That's my also medicine. I tell you, food has my, been my medicine. Yeah, yeah man. It changed my life. Food. food Going back to medicine. natural. It always was. Nature. It always back was. To vegan. Natural. Vegan. Go Going work. vegan is the most beautiful thing. Here's another tip for you that I learned. Um, just like the baking soda for toothpaste. Baking soda also works awesome for deodorant. And so what you can do is do baking soda, uh, coconut oil, and maybe use some kind of lavender type uh, fragrance and mix it all together. Maybe some kind of like starch in there and hold it all together and it is phenomenal. I mean better than anything really used on the market and it's natural. So I recommend all of you try that tip as well. It's all natural process. All natural. All natural. Now, if, if you're a cannibal, don't worry. It's a natural process. Natural process. Is, we can move to being a vegan. You you know? can make and how about breathing? Do your breathing. If you're a cannibal, definitely focus on your breath. And you'll be able to taper back and stop eating. Uh, you know, yeah, it works. So just focus on your breath. But remember, we're all perfectly fine. Okay. There's nothing wrong with any of us. So, if you really yeah. want some fluoride in it, if you really Thank just you. have to have fluoride, use pink Himalayan sea salt. You'll get a minor mm -hmm. But that's pointless. Also, uh, <laughs> so there is a big difference between the uh, flesh eaters and non flesh eaters. So, we are understanding this. There's going to be more of uh, this going on in the future if the catastrophe happens. Here's the reason why because once the food is no longer in existence, really, because there's only three days worth of food in your local grocery stores, people are gonna get hungry. And um, this is gonna turn the Wild West and people are gonna start shooting and eating people. That's gonna be a part of our modern day understanding, you know, how it's been out there. And that's why we live in these separate environments where we grow our own food and we love each other. We, we would never wanna, hurt each other or have anything to do with that. So we love each other. this is what how the separation happens and how we're gonna create the new world is by you know loving our environment, loving each other and loving everything about the future. Yeah, so our too. it's true. It's love coming right here. Yeah. So right. Love we are figured it all change. That's not we, each other. We yeah, we we are in an essence God yeah. taking yes. back the yes. world. Yeah. And so you know we we can take that as a premise and go from the I concepts to the we and share this beautiful world that we've given, been given as a gift. As a gift and some take, still hold a mindset of exploitation. And we have to take from each other. No, we can just share and love. What do you, how do you feel about that? It's all about gratitude and letting go. Nice. And breath. And gratitude loving each other. And letting go. And just be thankful. And you don't have to know the right answer or have the right plan. Really break it down to being thankful for every breath and thankful to every being in me. Holding nothing against anyone. Thanking them for their existence and they're teaching you how to be thankful to anything. Amen. Have any thoughts here, brother, you'd like to share with what we were discussing here? Creating a new world or consciousness? Breath. I would just say the breath is very important, like that gentleman said. It's actually the first step for optimum brain function on a scientific mm -hmm. level, so it's very obvious if you want to clear your head up and get yourself uh, you need to breathe nice. and don't be afraid. <laughs> nice. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Blessings. I got another tip for, for all of us watching this video. 
And the breath is so important. Here's why. Um, we're going through transition steps right now. We're going away from meats. We're going away from, you know, things that could hurt or, you know, concepts of, of exploitation taken from any other being. But check this out. As we transition to plant-based, that's where we're going to go here to sustain life through this next transition. We are going to go be breatharians. We're going to be breatharians and we're also going to um, use the sun as a primary source of our energy, as for our food. And so we will be, in this new world, we'll be more using our bodies as solar panels and using that for sustaining energy as well as, uh, you know, the magnificent climate air that we're going to have in the new world. Today, I have to say it's the most toxic it's ever been. And we're getting it about ready to go through a complete change, complete upheaval of everything you see as man-made will fall and we're going to start over a complete reset back to natural whether you like it or not so we're trying to encourage you by what we just talked about to take this as a short journey maybe a week or actually you need more than that you need like a month me we're all personally. fine don't worry <laughs> and we're all perfectly <laughs> fine there's no worries no fears but the main thing is to get breathing, you connected breathing, back breathing, to source gratitude. connection Okay, your connection with divine, which is non-religious, beyond religion, taking that, the love that connects us all together, oh, yeah. and tapping into that, Thank and bringing us all together as one consciousness, Thank you, God's Bobby. consciousness, the creator, creator's consciousness. So that is, in an essence, us coming together as one, taking back the earth, and making the new world together. Amen. Blessings.